Yo, what is up? It's your boy Grappler Senpai here with another, you know, epic video. Um, it's, you know, your emperor, the emperor of epicness, if such thing exists. And I'm here with Lord, um, Kozuko again, I guess. And we're going to talk about our, um, our, uh, uh, yes, we're, we're going to talk about our favorite, um, OP anime characters and video game characters. Um... I know I don't have my PC, so I can so I can't edit the footage, but I mean I guess this is the best we can do right now, over some Fate Geo, which happens to have many OP characters. And Budoka is so is so slutty. So should we just start with Fate and move on? Huh? Oh yeah, let's start with Fate. How about Heracles? Heracles is, Heracles is is so overpowered. You're so OP, man. Yes, but in the Fate series, he has a variant called Alcibiades. Or hmm. I also I also think um. Like many other like, there's a character that I'm trying to think of that's OP within the game, but um, Ishtar. Ishtar is like OP within the game, but not within the anime. And if you look at it, Gorgon is like she. Ah uh, yes, useless goddess. Ah uh, yes, useless goddess. And then there's Gorgon. Um, you know, like, like, um, she's super OP within the Fate Geo anime. Um, killed one of my favorite characters. In fact, well, not killed, but you know, defeated and started doing stuff to her. Gorgon's the anime crap in the game. What? Hmm. Also, I would like to bring up, um... I would like to bring up Kirito from Sword Art Online. He's the main reason the anime gets so much hate. Despite not being so bad whatsoever. I mean, it's not good, but it's also not that bad. And Caesar is this fat dude in this game. This is that. That's that. That's funny. Um. So back to Antides. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where normal Heracles takes being killed twelve times in twelve different ways. Mm-hmm. Alcides won't even let you get close enough to kill him once. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> I'm I'm here thinking, you know. I'm thinking about characters. Like, like that are, oh, oh! I know you're gonna hate you. I know you're gonna hate me for for bringing this up, but um, um, Saitama from one Pl from one Punch Man. Now that now that guy's OP to the point of you know like being. Yeah, he's fun. I I mean like he he's he I know his the point of him is to be a parody, and to you know defeat anyone with one punch. But I mean come on, it's that's by definition that's too OP to begin with. Well, if you want to see an OP character done right. We'll have to move on from both Fate and Punch Man. Hmm. OP character done. And we'll have to look at Nanatsu no Taizai. Oh no, don't tell me you're gonna bring up um Meli Meliodas. Don't tell me you're gonna bring him up. No. Escanor. I haven't watched Nanatsu no Taizai in um in so much, in that much depth, at least. Definitely not to that depth. But what I have So, watched... Escanor is probably my favorite thing. He's the lion of the pride. Hmm. What I have watched, though, is Attack on Titan. And we all know Mikasa Ackerman is, you know, she's OP as crap.
And if we go to the gaming world, I know this is a lesser known game, but if you go to um, Tales of Azuria, right? I've played that game extensively. Um, you'll see that um, Artorius is like he's OP as crap. Like there's like you have to grind to be able to beat him. He's a JRPG character, so I kind of guess he kind of counts as an anime character, but, you know, whatever. But it's like every... Well, if you want to talk about OP and JRPGs, just look at Sephiroth. Hmm. J OP and JRPGs, I'm trying to think of something. I've, the only JRPG I've really played extensively is um, the Tale series, right? And oh, do I have to bring up the Lord okay. of Calamity in um in Tales of Zestaria. He's like I, I don't remember his name because I haven't played Zestaria in a long time, but I, I know like he's OP. Like he can one shot you, and it'll be all over. Like you can have full HP in one of your characters, and he'll just one shot them. Yeah, especially if the main protagonist is OP. But again, don't make your um, don't make your protagonist like the dumb MC um, that has no talent. But also, a, 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 a protagonist that's too OP is pretty much comedic, and not in a good way. Uh, that's kind of why I brought up Esther. Mm. Um. So where most OP characters are, like you know. Oh yeah, I'm so strong. You can't save me. Elstonor kind of flips between that and hating his power. Hmm. Do I have to bring up Sasuke at, from at, you know, no Sasuke? Rise, he starts getting super do, do I have to bring up Sasuke? Um, into um. <laughs> into the conversation here he's he like throughout the early naruto days he was so op that it, we couldn't even begin to describe um how annoying it was especially Sasuke since is the character that only got better when time actually happened oh yeah naruto is the character that actually embodies like later goodness. in the series he was good in the series he was crap That's why I said early Naruto. But if you look at the, um, if you look at the opposite, who was Naruto, he's like the embodiment of hard work and dedication, you know, self improvement. Which is kind of why he's resonated with me, and that's why people call me basic because Naruto was my favorite character within Naruto. So yeah. Screw that! I'm going with Rock Lee all the way. Oh yeah, Rock Lee is pretty damn awesome as well. Rockley and Neji. If anyone thinks anyone else is more motivating than that, wait me. Now Neji, Neji is a, is a different story. He's an OP character, but he actually has good ulterior motives. At least later on in the series. I mean, I, I'm sure you can agree with me. Like the way the way Neji um promises Naruto to um change the Hyuga clan is um pretty heroic. Although he failed in the end. Neji. Yeah, pray for Neji, man. Hashtag Neji did nothing wrong. Wanted to bring up. Eskinor and Bond. Mm. Um, so 
Escanor, again, he gets stronger when sun rises. And he becomes that douchebag character. But when it's nightfall where he gets covered in darkness, he immediately reverts to being a meek, you know, very confident character. Do fighting games count? Because I could I could bring up a point of hating history. I, I could I could bring up a character that um is extremely well um an extremely well done example of an OP character. And I know I know you played Blaze Blue before and I'm I know I I know you knew I was gonna bring her up. Um I'm going to bring up nine as in, you know, the one in the witch costume. I think I've heard of her before. Oh yeah, I forgot you only played the mobile version. Well, Nine is like the the if you play Blaze Blue Central Fiction, she's like the first boss within the first act of the ar arcade. Like she, I mean the first the the boss of the first act in the arcade mode. And her motives are well. Oh, well, if we're gonna go into these anime game things here. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about Guilty Gear. Guilty Gear. I've never played Guilty Gear, unfortunately. Oh, remember when I brought up Gravity Rush? Well, uh, oh, so bad guy. Mm. Remember when I brought up Gravity Rush on that stream? Now, okay, I know that's a lesser known game, at least yeah. nowadays. But Gravity Rush has, uh, the, the main character is pretty OP if you think about it. She can literally control gravity. Do you know what kind of power that is? She can make she can lift you up and slam you down with gravity. Yeah, she can literally control gravity. Like when she flies, she's not really flying, she's falling in that direction. So I I'd say that's pretty OP. Like like she can lift she, I can make you fall to the ground faster. She can literally like point at you, lift you up from the ground, and then slam you multiple times, and you can't do anything about it because she controls gravity. I know such power would be impossible in real life. Her power also has a significant drawback. Meaning? Yeah, she's not picture perfect. She's going to create a friggin' black hole. Actually, that's one of her powers. She can create a mini black hole and close it. Oh, she wouldn't just create a mini black hole. Because if she sustains that for any more than three seconds, she can... It doesn't last more than two seconds. It doesn't last more than two seconds. It, like, opens and closes. Should then I it shouldn't be able to do any damage. Should I... Should I, should I, what should I say to Caesar? I am grappler or, um, you're kind of a plump, aren't you? I am grappler. All right, so I shouldn't insult him, I guess. Don't say that. Gold is my color. Mine. I'm the one who built the Golden Theater. <laughs> Nero. You always gotta love Nero and her insanity. Huh. Which other OP character should I bring up? Honestly. Hmm. I know Goku from Dragon Ball Z is an obvious one I should bring up. 
what's your what is your thoughts on you know Goku from Dragon Ball Z and how OP he can be? Goku has the I'm OP because I'm the main character and I'm OP. <laughs> yeah, I, I, Goku is like he's got the typical um, main character like plot armor, if you know what I mean. I mean, early on, you know, it was all mostly hard work. Yeah, there was a bit of BS in there, but that could be explained. The Ant-Man, you know, the Ant-Man, the YouTuber, brought up how Dragon Ball is better than Dragon Ball Z in the way that the characters actually train for something and they actually show real, you know, like, melee fighting instead of, you know, just focusing on superpowers, essentially. I, 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 would, I, would, I would say, yeah, I agree with him. Dragon Ball, the original Dragon Ball, seeing the characters train and struggle is actually way more entertaining than watching people fight with laser beams, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is more intriguing. It's more, it's more intriguing. Indeed, it's, it's a more compelling, um... It's a more compelling structure behind, you know, how the characters work and how the world works. Ki in Dragon Ball is actually a metaphysical concept that originates in the martial arts, although proven to be mostly not real and akin to the soul in Christianity in many ways. Not exactly akin to it, but in many ways it is. As for um, Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, the difference between it is that Dragon Ball Z tends to totally rely on the notion of Ki and its power. While Dragon Ball has many melee attacks between it. And if you notice in Dragon Ball, in the original Dragon Ball, you always see um, the characters go into their fighting stances before actually fighting. And you see... Um, the whole, like, the whole build-up be before it actually seems a bit more organic. Actually makes for a more compelling story. You never knew I could talk this intellectually, could you? I mean, could I? You never knew I could talk like this, huh? No. Yep. This is me when I geek out. Oh, by the way, um, you have to um, you have to watch the original Dragon Ball to know what I'm talking about. When I mean organic and more fun, it's much more lighthearted. I've watched a bit of it. Yeah, it's much more lighthearted. I I know a lot of the stuff that they do in Dragon Ball, they they couldn't get away with it nowadays. But I mean. Dragon Ball just had the more light-hearted connotation between the battles. Kind of like Fairy Tale. It takes like five seconds for you to, to answer. I don't know if it's your internet or not. Yeah, it's a bit of my internet and a bit of me trying to process everything. Hmm. I mean, we could all agree that you know, Dragon Ball had a more, had a more organic way of being than the later Dragon Ball series, and I'd much rather watch that than you know. Yeah. It It flowed a bit more naturally. Yeah. Instead of, you know, Dragon Ball, which is like, oh, yes, get ready for the next battle. Let's build up. If we if we, if we, we train in the gazillion times more gravity and inflict Kamehameha's upon ourselves, um, 
in our training, we can actually defeat the next super powerful, super villain. You know, that's the connotation Dragon Ball Z gives you. While Dragon Ball is more like... It's, it's, it's just more fun. Like, it's more like... Yeah, we, we, we have the next villain we have to take over, but let's let's just have fun on our way there. Like, we're human beings in a sand, but Goku doesn't know that yet. And then Dragon Ball started... Dragon Ball Z. If, if you look at the like early Dragon Ball Z with Raditz, you know, before, before Free, the Frieza saga... You could see that Dragon Ball Z had a lot of the original Dragon Ball stuff into it, but if you look at it, if you look at it afterwards, it's all about power ups and you know how epic and serious the story can get, even between battles, which kind of ruins it for me. And I had to agree with the Act Man right there. Now, I will say this. There are several ways of having an character get stronger. Mm. Like, of course, there's, you know, training actual strength, and then there's a like, character development. Yes, the character development in Dragon Ball Z is... So, like, there's Goku, physical strength. Mm-hmm. Or... The Elric brothers for character development. They already have all the parts they need. I don't think any shonen series comes so into comparison. Wait, I don't. I don't think any shonen series actually get um comes to comparison to Naruto when it comes to character development. Bullshit. Tell me which one does. Must I, re must I remind you of Full Metal Alchemist? Oh yeah, there's Full Metal Alchemist, of course. But Naruto is pretty high up the charts. I I'm not Bleach. gonna. Bleach, not so much so. But Bleach is actually very high in that character development. It's just that Dragon Ball is very <laughs> low on it. At least Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball, on the other hand, has a lot of philosophical context behind it. Um, if you look at any, like, if you look at Master Roshi within Dragon Ball, when he gets serious, he can say some pretty wise stuff. I'm not gonna lie. Some pretty wise and poetic stuff. Well, now, Master Roshi now, is... Now, granted, like, he's also very, very old man. Yes, but if you look at Master Roshi now, he's just there for... He's just either ignored or used for comedic relief. He's never seen as a teacher. He's never, he's never fitting in that mentor role anymore. Like, that's that's a problem, huge problem. To be fair, Goku did surpass him in the original Dragon Ball. I mean, that doesn't give you the right to ignore him. And it him. wasn't originally intended to keep Roshi around. Oh. So, him around, they either had to give him the Yamcha rule, or... Hmm. And I honestly prefer him being comedic relief than being absolutely rude. Uh, yeah, I, I have to agree with you there. Well, guys, I think that's enough for today. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share, guys. And remember, your emperor has spoken.